Hi everyone, it's Lily or Cool Rice Bunnies and it has been a while since I have done a video. I finished my exams and then after that I was done with my sophomore year of college and then after all of my exams I kind of just took a little break from YouTube that was just really kind of much needed for me. Now I am back home um, for the month at my parents' house, like my house house, which explains the colored background paper. I feel like I haven't filmed a video with colored background paper in so long and it's just so nice because I, I really missed it, but um, I'm here again with a new video. This is one of the things that my brother got me from California when he went on a trip um, and he asked me, you know, do you want anything from California? And I told him, find a store called Daiso Japan and just get me whatever you like from that store. And this is what he came home with. I'm going to be doing this kit today. It is my first time ever doing needle felting, so bear with me, you guys. This is the kit, so you guys can see here. It says, produced for Daiso Japan. And it's this cute little puppy in a teacup. And it says, needle felting animal kit here. So it comes with wool felt, needle, the eye parts, the jump ring, and the ball chain. And I will show you all this. And then it also says that this is what you need to prepare to make this. And I don't have a woolen felt mat, but I, it says that you can use a sponge and I've seen people use sponges. So I just have this kind of memory foam piece of sponge. It actually even has a little disclaimer here that the needle might break easily. So I went ahead and I ordered a needle felting tool from Amazon and this is a pen style needle felting tool and we're going to just see what is inside oh okay whoa this is so this is the wool it's a nice pink color this will be the color for the cup this is how much red we get and this will be for the heart on top of the cup there is some black wool kind of looks like my hair that was weird that was a weird feeling and then some of this creamy colored wool for the dog this is actually a little instruction manual as you guys can see there are lots of specific instructions for this kit which I'm very very thankful for and it actually has English translations as well as not only Japanese so that's really really helpful so here is the needle this is what it looks like there is wool everywhere is a really fine pointy tip and then it comes with these little um, findings so I'm going to review the first couple of directions and let's see how this turns out hopefully this turns out okay I'm not sure <laughs> step one says divide the wool as shown in the picture I have it on top of my sponge. I'm going to take the needle that came into the kit and it says to just begin rolling up the wool and stabbing it. I'm really scared. Um, I don't want to prick my fingers, but hopefully this will be okay. <laughs> I'm so scared, okay. And then we're just going to add more wool to it. So we're going to roll it up. I'm gonna take my pen and I'm gonna begin stabbing. Let me know in the comments down below, have you ever tried needle felting before? Have you watched needle felting tutorials? Or is this your first time um, hearing about needle felting? Let me know because I've kind of been fascinated by needle felting for a couple, I'd say like at least a year now, and I've always just wanted to try it. Um, so this is just really exciting for me to finally begin trying it. We are going to add another piece of wool and we're going to make the snout.
Okay, so here is the head so far. I added some wool and now this is the snout. And we're gonna split this in half. And now they just want us to make the ears. So let's do it. Let's try to make ears. So we're just gonna fold this in half. And we're gonna make a droopy ear. That's what the instructions say. Looks like he has a weird uh, toupee on. Okay, so here is what the head looks like. We have the snout, the two ears have been attached, and it looks pretty good. A kind of thicker needle tool. We want to make holes with it to attach the eyes. Um, I think this is good for now. The nose is much bigger than what I should have made it in the instructions. The nose is very, very teeny tiny, um, but I kind of made the nose quite large, but I think it's still pretty cute. So we're just going to poke, poke, poke. Oh man. I feel like some of them are getting on there, but not really. Okay guys, so we have the head completely done. So I've made the body here and it's just a ball and it says to spread out the extra fluffy part of the wool here and then attach it evenly onto the dog's head. So cute. <laughs> I took the last bit of wool that I had and then I split it in two and now I'm just folding them in half and now we are going to make his little arms. Um, this is what they look like. Here is the puppy dog so far, and next we are going to start making the cup. Well, we're just going to start felting this onto the puppy dog. So here, um, I finished the teacup, it just looks like this.
So this is what my very first needle felting project turned out like. Um, here it is in comparison to what's on the instruction pamphlet. Again, I made the nose a lot bigger than what it is on here, but I think it's still pretty cute and um, I think I did a pretty good job. I like how it's now a little keychain. Um, so let me know down below how you guys thought this turned out. Did I do a good job? Do you have any tips and tricks for me? Um, let me know. Here's what the back looks like. It is a time-consuming kind of craft, but I think it's really amazing and I definitely recommend it. If you guys have a Daiso store near you, um, I would recommend picking up and try needle felting for yourself. I also wanted to say thank you guys so much for helping me reach over 160,000 subscribers now. Um, it's really amazing and I feel like I never have time to thank you guys because I'm too concerned about making my videos almost a little bit too professional and I don't want them getting too long when I see these messages but I really don't care anymore. I kind of miss making really long videos um, but thank you guys so much for supporting my channel and watching my videos and leaving me comments and you know talking with me on all of my social networking sites. I really appreciate it. Um, I love doing YouTube and I'm really happy now that it's summertime and my classes are over so that way I have more time to make videos for you all. So um, yeah, this is it. Please like this video if you enjoyed it because it helps me out a lot and it only takes a second. And if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button to look forward to more cute and crafty videos like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.